Hello, this is Vince another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today, we're working on IXL D10 division with exponents. Now, this is very similar to IXL D9 multiplication with exponents, but for multiplications, notice that we were adding the exponents. Now, however, we're talking today about D10. If we add when multiplying exponents, what do you think we might do when dividing? I think you guessed it. Subtraction, you got it. Before we get started, let's take a look with an example to see some of our steps. So the key idea here is to divide the powers with the same base. And remember, the base will refer to 745. We're going to subtract their exponents, which would be the 6 and the 9. Now, notice that the numerator is the exponent that goes first, and the denominator is the exponent that goes second. So in this case, when you have the numerator, subtract the denominator. And when the denominator is a larger number, notice that your exponent will become negative. All right, I think we're ready to go. So again, we're going to subtract the top, which is the numerator, from the bottom being second. So again, top first, bottom second, and go from there. All right, super exciting. Let's give this a try and see how it goes. All right, uh, first step. We're going to copy down the base. We got 299 with 6 subtract 4. Well, that one's not too bad because 299, 6 minus 4 is to the second power. So by clicking on the exponent tool, and just in case you didn't see that, um, the exponent tool is right here. Right now, I don't have a need for the fraction tool, um, so I'm not going to use it. So we're just going to stick with the, the exponent tool. All right, um, 299 for the base with the exponent of 2. And notice I did not put in the exponent of box, so that would not work. And that right there looks much better. All right, first 10 points. I got it right. I think we got the idea. So now I got 972 with 4 subtract 3. And 972, 4 minus 3 is equal to 972 to the first power. Now, I'm going to give this a try. Now, if we have anything to the first power, it is just the number in itself. So we should be able to type in 972 without an exponent because with the exponent of 1, it's still the same thing. So let's just try it because I'd rather find out for you than you find out the hard way. Uh, 972 exponent of one so just by itself and sure enough it took it perfect all right uh next up we got 612 with five subtract nine so watch this one we're going to come out negative because we start with less and subtract more than we, we had to start with so 612 with five subtract nine is going to be a negative four so Let's go ahead and do 612 to the negative and put that negative with the exponent of 4. So 612, negative 4. All right. So far, we got 100%. We're doing great. So I got here 217 with 8 subtract 9. Same situation. We're going to have a negative exponent. So then I got 217, 8 minus uh, 9 is negative 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keep that negative 1 in there because we can't just leave it out Have the negative 1. Um, what we can do, what's interesting, is we can convert that to a fraction. So if you have a negative exponent, what you do is you can put the fraction as the denominator. So let's try something a little bit different. We can say this 1 over 217. Because the negative 1 means put it in the denominator. And 217 to the first power is actually just still 217. So let's cross my fingers and see if it takes it. And it did. Again, you can do it the other way if you want. If you wanted to just put the fraction with the uh, negative exponent, you could have done that. But hey, I'm just trying to try different ways here because there's so many ways you can do it. All right. Um, let's try this one here. We got 272 
to the 2 minus 6. So again, this is going to give us a negative exponent, which gives us 272 to the negative 4. Now, using the exponent tools, you could use the first one and put that in. Now, I'm going to go a little bit further just to show you what you could see in the future. So when you have a negative exponent, you turn it into a fraction as a positive exponent on the bottom. So I got 1 over 272 to the positive fourth power. So this is the other way you can write it. I would get used to writing that because um, this is kind of like not complete, although IXL will take it right now. But uh, I'm going to do it all the way. So here we go. I'm going to do 1 over. Now, notice I need the exponent tool on the bottom as well. So if I click on the bottom, then click on the exponent tool, notice that we're all set ready to go. So 272 to the fourth power. And again, if you want to type it in as 272 to the negative 4, it should take it as well. But again, all legitimate, you should try to go for this right here. All right. Again, notice it took it. It worked. All right. So we got uh, 569 with 5 minus 3. And I don't know why I put 3 when it says 2, because I'm probably thinking about the answer. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So I should have 569 to the positive third power. Now, from there, there's really not much I can do. So we're just going to use the first tool. So I'm just going to go with 569 to the positive third power. And notice I missed the fraction or the exponent box again. So be careful when you type this in, make sure it's in the box. And then I still missed it. There we go to the third power. So just take your time, pick an extra couple seconds, make sure it actually matches up so that way it looks good. All right, uh, next step, we got 891 to the seventh power minus six gives you 891 to the first power and anything to the first power causes the number just to be the base. So we're gonna try um, 891 on this case. So 891 with new exponent because it's not needed in this case. All right, uh, next up, I got 981, 981, 2 subtract 3. Okay, so notice we're subtracting more than what we had to begin with, so that's going to give us a negative exponent. So I got 981 to the negative first power. And I'm going to go next to your step. We're going to make this into a positive fraction of 981 to the positive first power. And you're probably thinking, well, didn't you say that if it's to the exponent of 1, it's the same thing? And you're right. So the last step is, let's go ahead and just drop the exponent of 1 and call it 1 over 981. So that's fully completed right there. That's about as good as we're going to get. So let's use the fraction tool. We're going to enter the whole thing right here. So 1 over 981. Now, can you just use the first tool and plug that in? Yeah. But um, I want to go all the way. So again, this is the um, term that is most simplified. All right. Now, yeah, looks good. All right. Um, next up, I got 974 for the base. And the exponent of 9 minus 4 gives us 974. 9 subtract 4 is 5. And I can't do anything past that, so that's good. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, so let's go 974 to the fifth power. Now we got 982 with 6 subtract 9. So this one will turn into a fractional exponent because we're going to have a negative. So 982, 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Turning into a fraction, it's 1 over 982 positive to the third power. And can I go any further? And the answer is no. I can't go any further. So 
here we go we got fraction tool one over base and exponent tool um 982 to the positive third power again i'm just kind of checking to make sure it looks good so six minus nine is negative three but positive three because it's on the denominator all right this one is quite interesting what happens when the exponent and the base are exactly the same let's see what happens so we got nine or 897 with one subtract one which gives us 897 to the zero power and in one of the earlier ixls that we talked about is anything to the zero power is always equal to one so all cases put in here the answer should be just one now i'm sure if you want to put in the uh, exponent tool put 987 to the zero power to also take that but simplest form here is actually oh no it's one all right um next i got uh 985 to the first power minus seven equals 985 one minus seven is negative six turned into a positive fraction it's one over 985 to the positive six power and I can't go further than that. So I'm going to go fraction tool one over fraction tool with the exponent tool. Uh, what do we got? 985. And those are typed as six. So careful as you go. 985 to the positive six power. And just kind of do a quick check and make sure it looks good. It looks like we're going to be done in about two problems. Um, so I got 752 to the eight minus two equals 752 eight subtract two is to the sixth power and here we go 752 to the sixth power and our last problem for today we got 902 with um first power over seven so this one is going to be a fraction at the end so we're going to go 902 1 minus 7 equals 902 1 minus 7 is 6 and because it's subtracting more than what we had it should be negative 6 which gives us 1 over 902 to the positive 6 power and I can't go further than that. So um, let's see. Fraction tool 1 over um, 902. And I need the fraction of 6. Exponent of 6. All right. With that being said, that concludes your IXL tutorial up to 81. For IXL D10, Division with Exponents, have a fantastic day.